Alright guys, welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2K21 and today we're going to check out my own society once again. So it's the Sawgrass Championship at TPC Sawgrass. It's a two round event, so if you're not a member of the society already, by all means join it to see how you get on a TPC Sawgrass. But we're just going to play one round here today I think, but uh, a perfect week for it. It is Players Championship week, I'm going to talk about maybe some of the players I think could do well and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, as I said, hopefully we can have a... A good round on this brilliant brilliant course i mean it's a course we've all played a lot let's be honest i certainly have and i've covered it a few times on the channel already uh, over the past year but uh, as i said it's just the perfect week to have it so yeah let's jump in just play one round and leave it at that if you want to see a second round then uh you know what to do just drop a like and drop a sub as well if you're new but let's get into it all right here we go the first hole TPC Sawgrass. It's been a while, as I said, since I played this course, so. It's a pretty away. good drive to start off. This society today. is on Master, but as I said, if you're not a member of it already, I would recommend going over. It's always two round events. That'll do nicely. And uh, look, it's a bit of Second fun, if nothing else. That's what it's all about. Let's see if we can dial one in close on the opening hole. Two perfects in a row on Master. I should. I should end this video right now. It's going to come up a little bit short, though. A little bit too much loft and spin on that one. But it is a chance for birdie on the first hole. Okay, this one's 19 we drain feet. It. This would be the perfect start. No, I didn't give it enough break. And I even no, hit it nice and firm high. as well. So it just shows you I was Good nowhere near the right line there. So we will start off with just with a par, but in terms of the players that could win there this week, obviously Scotty Scheffler, he, okay. he won again last week. The moment. Um, obviously I'd love to see somebody like Ricky Fowler win it again, he's uh, sort of been in the dark for a while. I'd love to see him get another win, but yeah, it's hard to know, they, they often say, you know, you need to be a long hitter to win on this golf course. I'm. I'm not convinced of that I think if you're a good iron player and a good putter, you'll do well around this golf course. Because uh, a lot of the pins tend to be sort of tucked away over bunker, stuff like that. So you need to be hitting crisp iron shots that, you know, come down softly on the green. So it's going to be an interesting here. week. Obviously, Justin Thomas won it last week. I wouldn't, or not last week, last year, I should say. I wouldn't rule him out winning again. He's played well there over the years. Oh, it's a tiny slope. It's still going to be on the All green, right, and I might even catch this little mound here and push it over towards the pin, but not quite high enough to get up that Look at little you mound, go. as I said. But on the it green is an and eagle under putt. regulation, putting for eagle here. Good stuff. And at worst, we this should get out eagle. of here with two putts for birdie, but let's see if we can give this a go. Pace was pretty good, I think. Once again, I just don't think I've had the the line yeah, come back. not a bad effort we'll take two putts Ooh, from back there for birdie. for birdie here we do get under par all right we dig out the scorecard here but yeah it's hard not to like this golf course the unofficial and after that one as they call down it to one under some brilliant holes and obviously the main hole being the the island green of the 17th hard not well, to love that one see what happens here on the third hole all right the first of the par trees Again, a pretty decent strike. Swing line, not good, but you'll settle for hitting perfects at the very least. Couldn't hit that one much right. better. Nice approach on that one. And it is back to back birdies. That one drops on to get us going two under, through the opening three holes. So there are two par fives on the front line the second and the ninth. The ninth really all depends on round. wind, whether you can get it there in two, and it's it's one of the probably the most narrow entries to a par five you'll see, see on the PGA Tour. It's very, very tough to get it on court. the green. And then even get it to stop on the green is another thing. All right, so we're swinging pretty nicely at the moment. Long may that continue. Probably only going to be a pitch That's from here. Mm, can use the slope, those then, I think. Oh, I've hit a slow. It's probably going to miss that slope Come now. On, give leave us, us an absolutely horrid putt. If anything, I should have erred on the side of hitting that fast. 
And this should be mm. a fun watch. Let's see how you do with this long, long putt. John McCarthy said it's going to be a fun watch, maybe for you guys, but not for me. There's nothing fun about this, I can tell you. Nothing fun at all. There's no way, really, I could Just get that close. It was just trying there. to get it somewhere flat enough. Setting up it. 12 foot putt here. Going towards that hole. Thankfully, we do get two putts from there, which we will take all day long. That will keep us two under through four. And after that one, scorecard. Yeah, just a couple of, go two couple of days to go until the, the player starts in real life. As I said, one of my favorite events and here all we go, year to watch. Four, and then it, it really sort of kicks off the season for me. Obviously, we'll have the Masters in a month's time which will be exciting for many reasons, the golf in real life. But I'm also hoping that when the Masters comes around, we will hear a little bit more from EA Sports about the, their upcoming golf game as well. So I would be surprised if we don't hear anything about it because a little bit of an issue I have is, I think it was back in November they said the game was delayed for however long. They didn't really say. And since then, it's just been nothing. We haven't heard a single thing. So... Surely the Masters can't go by without them mentioning it in some way because obviously the Masters being in the game, Augusta National is going to be a huge pull for EA. But yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed how I uh, shouldn't have really been talking hitting there. Are we going to get away with this? Oh, just about. Thankfully, it landed on the flat. But yeah, a little bit disappointed oh, that was the last we heard. November is quite a long thinking? time ago. What are you thinking out of this? And they did say they bunker. would uh, see what you got. drop news within. They said within a couple of months at the time, so we're gone past that period now. So, yeah, hopefully we will hear something about that next month. So I think we could all, uh, we would all agree we do need a new golf game now at this stage, whether it be from 2K or EA. Obviously, okay, I'm going to play both shot. one way or another. If I was to say which one I was more excited about, probably the EA one, but they still have to build up a lot of trust with people because it has been seven years now and... The last game, I enjoyed the gameplay of it, it just it lacked, um, what's the word, longevity. There wasn't enough in the game, very few courses. It just, it got stale very quick, it was very easy to get bored of it, so I'm hoping this new one will have a, a lot more courses in it. And we've seen with 2K with this game, you know, with the course designer. Um, while I have got the point now where I am a little bit bored of it, I can't, you know, criticise its longevity because so many different courses you have the option of playing with all the great creators out there so yeah just for me i just need a new golf game at this point and as i said i'm sure many of you feel the same way we need a new game badly that was good okay second shot on the sixth uh, gap wedge pitch not a fan of hitting these but we'll try Only a tiny fast. It wasn't the worst executed shot, so but it's going to for the green. cross out to the left quite a bit. Nice. But All right, let's get a birdie. a fairly and flat putt at least, so should be a birdie. This putt's good so far. Which it is, so we do get the three We're under par and bogey for you long. May that continue. Nice. So three holes to go on the front nine. So we're taking along nicely enough, you would have to say. Three under. three under is not bad. Obviously, if we we're on pro, you, you burn this golf course up. But master just gives it that little bit more of a challenge, and that's that's what it's all about for me, having a little bit more challenge. Holy! You just ripped it. Nice little uh, draw around the corner there. Shades of Rory McIlroy, a high draw. Take that all day. This one's around 110 yards to the pin. Just gonna deal off this lob wedge a little bit and then spin it. Once again, a really nice strike. This should be good. Someone's gonna need to bite. Just too much deal loft. It's so hard to judge how much deal loft oh, you need in this game. What do I know? Game. That ended up just fine. And I have a habit this sometimes of overdoing it. To the cup. it. Doesn't take much for it to, to go a long way. So I must remember that. So downhill slider for our birdie. Couldn't actually really see exactly where the hole was there. Probably should have put the pin in. Ouch. As you can see, I missed it by a long way because and the uh, drop this one in for your the power. elevation was okay, blocking my sight for the hole. So we'll have to settle for two putts. And this par tree is not an easy one. And it's going to be at least a four iron, I'd say, if not a hybrid for me. 
the long par three. And now we're teeing it up it's a on three the wood even. Hole. Nah, it's not a three wood though, actually. Yeah, hybrid is pretty much bang on. Mm, not going to be easy to get it close though, one way or another. A little bit of a fast and a pull there, so this Looks is going like to be bunker bound. Left. This won't be the easiest bunker mm, shot either because I have approach, the long lob wedge, okay. as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it all the way up. I'm obviously not going to hit it, but the problem is when you dial it back to, say, 60% down on the bottom of the screen there, as you can see, once you get to here, it starts doing a funny... It really slows down, so I find this a bit easier. I can try and work it out myself. 79 still a little bit too hard. Okay, but here's a 12. I don't foot think I would have done much better. Well, the putt appears to be it's online. Slow, I think. Oh no! Nice wow. Putt. My hat was in the way, but I thought for sure that was missing left, but it hangs on, and we do Three stay bogey free, thankfully. And the ninth hole, the par five that we mentioned earlier, coming up. Let's see where the wind is. Here we go, par five ahead of you. Let's it's see what happens. It's not helping, it's not really hurting, but you would need, I think, a downwind here. You need it. You need wind behind you to have a better chance of reaching. Great contact, nice swing. And you'll see what I said earlier when we have a look at the green. It's very, very narrow to try and get it ninth. in there. And a nicely placed little bunker. But even if you do get it on the green, it's very hard to stop it. The best chance you have is when the pin is back here. And you're only hitting the three wood in, which in real life most players will reach it comfortably enough, but it's it's still not easy to get it close. That's bold oh, using the driver off fast. the fairway. I'll I'll take it. Would have preferred a red slow. Throw At least we row. probably would have been out in the fairway. We're gonna be blocked Careful out. Careful hitting off this pine straw. This is uh, the lie is good, well, but am I gonna it. hit that the limbs of the tree right in front of me? I think I am. I'm gonna have to try this. Put a lot of deal off on it just to see will it come out low i don't think it will but we'll try red slow but you know what it's as good as you could do didn't stop really that was probably due to the deal off even we'll though i had max spin on it under. but from where we were i think we'll have to settle for it is that gonna stay up nice. or is it gonna just turn away I under hit it actually. Oh, I man, was right was in the great. middle if I hit it. That's not like me now to leave a putt short, so always disappointing. Par and a par five, so it's a three under 33 for us. Not great. Let's have a look. Has anybody else played at this point? No. As I said, it is early enough on, so See what you I only set it up a little while ago. But yeah, by all means, if you if you haven't joined it already, feel free. It's the same name as the YouTube channel. Here's Johnny's 94, so. Feel free to join and play. Beauty of a swing there. Nice shot with the three wood there. Driver would have been too long for us there. We would have ran out of fairway. Setting up around 130 yards. So again, D loft in this and then just putting a little bit of spin on it. Slope going one way. The wind should bring us back though the other direction. This looks very good indeed. We take that Nicely all day. Done. This next putt is for your birdie. This putt's going. A good firm You're putt when we get the four under par. Birdie of the day. Start so off far. the back nine. With a birdie, and we do have a par five on the eleventh as well. Two par fives on either par nine, currently. as you can see. The eleventh and sixteenth on the back nine. So we're sort of going along nicely Here without, comes you know, the sort of burning hole. it up. But as I said. If you were on pro, you'd burn this course up easily enough. Master just makes it that little bit more interesting. Particularly nice towards the end when you've water like this hole. I'm not sure with my shorter tree wood I can reach. But yeah, this is around the 245 yard mark. Yeah, just if I had the 243 like most people do, I think it'd be perfect. This is just going to be a little bit short. Can try and overpower it, but at worst I need to hit this fast. Yeah, there we go. We did hit it. I was afraid of trying to hold the back and then hitting it slow left. into the water. So that was certainly the lesser of two evils. So we'll take that. Should be a straightforward enough 
up and down for birdie. Oh, I've under hit that. Actually, it, it flew a little bit further than I thought it would, and we got a nice little hop forward. I only hit it 72. I was trying to hit it 77, but Looking we'll good. take it now. Tap in birdie. Finding your way around this course. That's your fifth birdie of the thought day. Thought for sure that was going to come up well short when I saw 72 percent that one you're bringing your score down to five we'll take it no comments on the scorecard tap in birdie five under true 11 not bad at all okay setting up on a short par four today now, this hole in real life these there'll be a lot of players who will reach this easily in uh, in one um there are t-box options that you can use um in this game of course but we're playing off the back tees so what i want to do or can I get it over the bunker? And that time Aaron on the side of slow because there was water on the left, so at least I'm using my head for a change, right, but that's second shot on the twelfth. Not the hop we wanted. Will this be enough? It should run out the fact that it's coming out of the rough. Yeah, if not for the red fast, that would have been pretty decent. Obviously, You'll that threw it off under today, way left, but think this. it's not bad. Not bad. It gives us a decent chance of birdie. Well, it's heading towards the hole. Oh, and that one just runs by. I've just missed a lot of those putts left. like that. Just under-reading them slightly. Missing on the amateur side, as they say. Missing them low. So that's a disappointing one. That's a birdie hole all day long. Should be birdie in the 12th at Sawgrass. Definitely. We do stay at five under. Thirteenth, I well, think, is a par tree, which it is. A lovely par hole. tree as well. It doesn't maybe get the recognition it deserves because of the the next par tree that's coming up the seventeenth. But yeah, I think it's a, a very nice hole indeed. Another really nice strike. And a laser swing line. You won't hit it much straighter than that. It's only a five mile an hour wind. I didn't expect it to hold it up that much, but then again, I It'll did put right a good there. bit of loft and spin on it. So for maybe just a little bit too much. But as I said, a really good strike. Got the perfect and a laser swing line. Only I could bottle that up and do it all the time, but that would be too easy then, wouldn't it? This should turn. <sighs> Fraction firm, maybe. And just didn't quite turn as much. On in and you'll get a par. You'll settle for the par. Like that, we will move on to the next. On master around here, though, I would take a, a bogey free round. A touch wood, I hope I'm not jinxing right it, but at five, under, five holes away from doing that. It's been a while since I've had a bogey free round on master, I think, so I'd be happy with that. But I would like okay, a few more birdies before the end. Four on this hole. It's another brilliant hole as well, the 14 tier. Oh, wonderfully struck. Tiny fast there. That won't punish us at all. Not the laser swing line that time, though. And this one's about 165 yards mm. out. i have to shape this a little bit, I think. Maybe we don't, though. It probably is. would get up high enough, but we'll pretend it doesn't. Something sounded a little a bit uh, a little with bit With the draw we had on it, this is going to whip left into the bunker. That will kick back, hopefully kicks back far enough to make this bunker shot we're a little bit easier. We're not going to hit every easier. green today. That's all right. Once again, a little bit. Okay, and from the green side bunker, let's uh, nestle this one in nice and close. Red slow on a horrible and swim line, we but we got it out. Nicely played out of the sand. On nice those putt. type of That's shots, I'm not really interested in getting the perfect. It's just getting out and getting as close as you can. Because as I said, a lot of people use, okay, I think, roughly a 17, 18 yard uh, lob wedge would be their splash minus 25. So it's a little bit more awkward for me. So just getting the ball out is the main thing I'm looking for. So if you get it perfect, it's all well and good, but it's not a big right, deal. Put this one out in the fairway. But it is a big deal here, though. We want to hit the fairway here. Give ourselves a, a nice chance getting on the green for birdie. It's a red fast, wow. This one's looking okay off the tee. It's one of them, it didn't feel like it, but I'm in the pine needles. Oh, wow. 
I thought that was a good thing. Good. Is you get a good lie out of the pine needles. Second shot here on the 15. You can get this on the green. Just pick up though, so you know what? It's all in all, it's not terrible. It's going to be a tricky putt though, with Safe approach, quite a nice. bit of break pretty much That's right in front of the us. But then it does flatten out, so we can just gauge how far it's going to turn left at the start. We might have a chance with this one. You can see it does flatten out after that. Haven't hit it though. I was giving it extra because of the uphill, but I only hit it 51 out of 54. More pace. So that's not good. Nice puck. Once again, have to settle for the par. The birdies have dried up four birdies in a row. That's the first Five time, or four still. pars in a row, I should say. The first time in this round we've gone that many holes without a birdie. But now we're onto the closing okay, stretch. Have a good tee it's, shot here now it's up on the there 16th. for me is probably the best finishing stretch in all of golf so these last three holes i don't think there's anywhere else that really is the bear trap at the honda classic we we played that course a few weeks ago that is extremely good but this one i don't think anything tops this one to be honest it's again a very good swing line a little bound. bit of a fast though but it should be just fine that will do nicely okay we're around the 230 yard area from here Hoping this wind just holds us up enough. So, if you get the timing right on this one again, you have to err on the side of fast because slower you're in the water, I think. Ah, who needs fast and slows? Let's just hit oh, a perfect get a kick left. It'd be nice. Wind is not turning that quite as much. Hopefully, this sits down as well. It's always going to stop once it got on the green in here with All the right, wooden uh, the, the wooden here. border there. So. Chance to chip in for Eagle. Got the perfect. Will it run out that much? Wow. Oh, nice she slips out there. for Eagle. All right, nice. but we'll take a birdie. Our power run away. comes to an end, thankfully. Nicely done for the birdie. Two holes to go. I think if we could birdie one of these, that Six would be a pretty round. respectful round. Seven under. Bogey free around here. Let's see if we can do that. Right, best of luck here on number 17. I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go pitch and wedge. Do hit the perfect. Not the best swing line. Well, this one could it's right at it though. Right at it. Get in. <laughs> Great work there. Yeah, that's take that all day. You won't see much closer than that, I don't this think. A it's a tap in birdie for a two that's for at the island green. Seven so we do reach day. seven under par. Maybe we can better that seven under par mark. But if we're, uh, a par on 18, I would be very happy with seven under on master, to be honest. Bogey free. But say nothing yet. Say nothing yet. We have well, to, start to stay clear of the water first. Tee this up on the 18. I still remember Justin Thomas's shot. I'd nearly like to try and recreate it, but I don't think I could. Let's try and see what he did. I mean, I have never seen a ball hook as much as his did. Now, he did play for it. He was aiming way over here, but it must have bounced here somewhere, let's say. And it just ran straight because with the ball turning right to left, obviously, there's going to be a lot of spin on it. You would think it has to sort of take a left bounce, but... I remember the commentary at the time, you and Murray, he was just like, how is that ball bounce straight considering the direction it's come? So let's see if we can recreate that from Justin Thomas. But of course, I hit the slow because I didn't want to hit a fast, but you get the idea. <laughs> and that'll That's do 300 yards down the fairway. Our second shot here on number 18. It's all right. I thought that was going to be fast for a minute, and you didn't want fast oh, with the water down the left. Here. So it's worked out, and it gives there us a chance at birdie, but Good. it's going to be a downhill down slider once again. Tough day. to judge these. This. have to get the pace and line bang on. I'm going to go just outside this line. Oh, 
Oh, man. Oh, my God. Once again, we burnt the edge. But we will take that seven under par round. I'm, I'm happy enough with that, to be honest. Um, three under front nine, four under back nine. Just a pity there we had a, a stretch of pars there for four holes to where I should have really had one or two birdies in there maybe. But yeah, not a bad round. Bogey free, I will take that. It's been a while since I've done that on Masters. So I'm uh, very happy with that, as I said. But uh, thank you for stopping by, as always. If you did enjoy the video, please do drop a like down below and leave a comment as well if you'd like to see me play around too i can do that later on in the week i will have a bit of time and uh we'll also have our release society in a couple of days time as well most likely on thursday but uh yeah as always appreciate your support and uh yeah i'll see you again very soon take care guys peace out